Hi folks, this is the second of our videos reviewing uh, the grade 9 chemistry concepts and uh, for this one here we're going to take a look at Bohr-Rutherford diagrams. So diagrams uh, that represent uh, an individual atom of an element. Okay, so let's work with uh, sodium. So first thing I notice is that sodium is in the third row. So that means I would expect there to be three electron shells uh, needed to represent the uh, electrons. And since it's in the first group, I expect there to be one electron in that outer shell. Okay, so let's take a look at the information that we need in order to draw our Bohr-Rutherford diagram. And what we need are the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Okay, so we start with the atomic number, uh, 11. So that tells us that there's 11 electrons negatively charged. So we use a negative and 11 uh, protons positively charged and we subtract the atomic mass by the atomic number uh, to get the number of neutrons. So 23 minus 11, so that means that there are 12 neutrons, which is uh, a neutral particle, has no charge. Okay, so this is the information we need. So first thing we do is we draw the nucleus, which is just represented by a circle in the middle. So let's draw our nucleus, and our nucleus contains 11 protons, Okay, and 12 neutrons. Okay, and now we start drawing our electron shells. So the first electron, electron shell can hold a maximum of two electrons. So one and two. Okay, then we go to our second electron shell, which can hold a maximum of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got two and eight, 10 in all so far, but we need 11. So as we expected, we have to go to a third shell. Okay. And here we have our one electron in the third shell. Okay. So this is the Bohr-Rutherford diagram for sodium. Okay, sometimes you will see these without the uh, protons and neutrons uh, indicated, just the uh, a symbol for that uh, element. Okay, but this is the full diagram. Okay, that's it for this one. So uh, please go on to the next video.